Race strip program. So we're gonna take a very thin, wet bead of racer clear, and we're gonna encapsulate these big old fantasies up in here. And what's so cool about this is that like, <laughs> look how big and chunky this is, you guys. I love it. And literally every nail is gonna be different. And that's what she likes. I love that. That's all she wrote. A little bit more racer clear, really wet, because we're just using it to encapsulate, almost like if it was watercolor. Such a pretty glitter. Do you love it? I love it. It's so good. Oh my gosh, do you know who had another baby? Ooh. Paris Hilton. Oh yeah, I saw that. I was like, her little boy isn't even a year old, and now she has a daughter. It's perfect for any holiday party. That's exactly what we were going for too. That's awesome. E3 Virgo. And these nails are actually for a holiday party Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Well, they're for any holiday now. Right. That's funny. I was watching something like Regis, not not Regis and Kathy Lee. Like, what are what are the new people now? <laughs> oh, Kelly and Kelly and her husband. No, oh, it's not Ryan Seacrest anymore. That was her husband that was on there. Oh, okay. Um, but she, I guess, Paris Hilton just showed up at Thanksgiving with the new kid. Yeah, that's. I was like, look. look I think I that's so weird that like you know now like surrogates and things like that. I understand that there's like a place and time for them, but I almost feel like these people are using their kids as like pets almost. Right. Because, I mean, it's a kid. You, it's not an accessory. And I kind of feel like she's really cleaning up her image and, like, trying to, like, get back in the grace of people by having all these kids. Right. I genuinely think that she, like, loves her family right now, though. I feel like she's... Well, that's her moneymaker. Yeah. Because she's not cool anymore. <laughs> and I was a huge Paris Hilton fan back in the day, but... Were you? Yeah. Like, The Simple Life? I have her albums and things like that, too. But, like, also, like... I don't, I think honestly she's very jealous of Kim Kardashian because of the success that she has. Uh -huh. Because Kim Kardashian is here because of Paris Hilton, but right. Kim, I think, capitalized on it more better than Paris did. Well, Kim did other things that Paris did not. Yeah, she did. Paris yeah. Hilton has a, an adult tape as well. Does she? Yeah, it's called One Night in Paris. She was the first one to do it. I did not know that. Why did I not know that? I don't know. And that's why Nicole Richie and Paris Hilton didn't, were not friends anymore because um, Nicole Richie played the tape at a party. OMG. That was the big reason for their falling out. I remember this because I used to read those magazines that you would buy at the uh, yeah. checkout at the grocery store. Hilarious. That's awesome. Have you been reading about any of the Diddy stuff? Yes, of course. Oh my gosh. I, there's so many. He likes to watch. There's that. There's so many like, like. But also like, I mean, if he's telling you what's going to happen, and you're okay with it and you let it go on for like years and years and years and you have like a, a, a way to escape and things like that like yeah like i don't want to like rain on anybody's parade about victimhood and things like that because right. we don't know the situation she was in but like i'm pretty sure she had the opportunity to escape right and what? she if like it happened like a lot of times yeah. too because he said they would go to other, like, other cities and he would get gigolos yes. and he would just watch i know but there's that side of the stories and then there's all kinds of like the the unalived people side of the story. Oh yeah, right? ah, about so like many... Biggie and all that kind of yes. stuff. Yes, I'm like, there, you can dive so so deep into the the rabbit hole. Yes, oh my gosh, there's so many rabbit holes that I've been down. Like, I don't know why I've been like obsessively reading about that. I wonder what Lil Kim has to say. Because she hasn't said anything, and she was with Diddy and and Biggie and all of them yeah. a long time ago too. Mary J. Blige, yes. so that's many. another one. I'm sure, did you see his bodyguard is coming out and saying all kinds of stuff? What did he say? Oh my gosh, he's like, he basically anything that, that, that Diddy did during all these times, mm -hmm. he's, he's like calling him out and he's like, yeah, he, you know, roughed up so-and-so or he did this to so-and-so or like he's talking about the Biggie situation that Biggie and Tupac were, were supposedly getting together and... Gonna do a collab or something? Yeah, and, and Diddy wasn't having that or whatever. Well, supposedly Diddy wanted um, the, the masters for... Um, what's his name? Well, think about it. They were saying too that there was five people who started what, whatever it was, the record company. Mm -hmm. No Limit or uh, no, whatever it was. Death Row. Whatever. Did Bad it. Boy. Bad Boy. And and whoever it was, like all of them, basically died of heart attacks. Allegedly. 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 Except for one who ended up in a coma, and he he actually survived. Really? But he gave but up the okay. rights of the music. Huh? He gave up the rights to the music, or he's no longer involved he's, with the record company. Talk about it anymore. Really? Yeah, he's silent now. He's not talking about anything. Or else. Yeah. I still want to know what happened to Matthew Perry. He was found unresponsive in the hot tub. I I think I know. We all, we all, we all know, know what happened with Matthew Perry. Yeah. I don't I don't think that was on purpose by any means. I think he was partying too hard, and his heart just uh, yeah. 
couldn't take it anymore. Right. Especially because apparently he liked to party a lot for a really long time too. And your heart can only take so much, especially when you're like overweight and things like that. Your heart has to work harder. Yeah. So that's I think that's what happened. Yeah, that was definitely a lot. Water and, and, and that never go well. No. Even when you have a pacemaker, you have to be really careful. Can you imagine his heart, how it must have been after all those years of partying? They've been telling me, like, even for, there's like a brain surgery that a lot of people get for Parkinson's too. And I'm like, I, I, I have zero interest in wanting to do it at this point in my life. But there's so many things with that too that you can't do anymore. Really? Yeah. Like going to hot tub? I mean, there's, there's, I think, issues with swimming. There's issues with, you can't go on roller coasters. I mean, things Oh, like, no, I could never. Yeah. But can you go on a roller coaster with Parkinson's? With Parkinson's, yeah, sure. But with the DBS thing, the, after the surgery, you mm -hmm. can't. And then what kind of life are you going to leave after? Um, it's supposed to, like, it, honestly, it has like a battery that they pack, that they put in your chest. Uh -huh. Like Iron Man. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. But it's supposed to help with the tremors without being medicated. Well, look at Michael J. Fox now. Yeah. He's had it for a really long time. He's, what, 30 years in that he's had it? Really? And how did he get it? Like, or what caused his, or what triggered I, his? I don't know. Uh, honestly, I don't know what triggers anybody's, but I mean, I guess it's just like the luck of the draw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're just the lucky ones in life. And Mr. Ralphie didn't know that Michael J. Fox was actually originally not the first Marty McFly. Oh, who was him? I didn't know that. So they like they filmed the movie, and then they're like, "Oh, this guy's not working out." Who was it? I don't remember. Oh. It's, it, you obviously can Google it. Does. But the guy like shot a lot of it, so like a lot of scenes are like, especially from behind, is another guy, another oh, actor. Hey. But they said he wasn't as funny as um, Marty, as uh, Michael J. Fox. You are the, the, the king of knowledge of that kind I, of stuff. <laughs> I learn something new from you every time I see you. You're it. like, Marty McFly was not originally. <laughs> Marty McFly. It was Marty McFly. Michael J. Fox is a little guy too, huh? Yes. He looks like it. He does, yeah. Bruce Willis is also really sick. Yeah. It's a dis, was it dysphagia? Aphasia? Like a So what I did was I put primer on the inside of the one, two, three, go. And what that's going to do is it's going to melt the inside of the nail and make it sticky. So that way these nails are never going to pop off. Because if anybody can pop them off, I can pop them off. <laughs> or Asia can chew them off. That's true. <laughs> so we're going to get a little bit of light pink bubblegum gel. What's everybody saying? It's Everybody's quiet, quiet today, huh? It's a little quiet on TikTok. Everybody was on it, but Instagram. Yeah, what's going on TikTok? Right. Gotta hit the like button. Look how beautiful that is. I'm saying, I hope I get more gel in my scoops. A little bit of everything. Everyone is tired from eating turkey. They're making dinner. Hello. Hi. Bunny Lynn. Eric Stoltz was the original Marty McFly. Yes, there you go. Does he, is he acting now? Does he do anything now? Eric Stoltz. I feel like I've heard that name before, maybe. I think he was kind of famous. And isn't he like British or something? I don't know. You know, a lot of our superheroes are British. Did you hear about the Halle, Halle Bailey salon? Oh, she's pregnant, right? Salon drama? Oh, I no. Did. I did hear about that. It was like they were in a nail salon and like her sister was like 15 minutes late or something and they re went to reschedule her. Uh-huh. And she like flipped out or something. The sister did or the lady at the nail salon? I think, uh, no, I think Halle, Halle Bailey. I, I want to say Halle Berry, but Halle Bailey something. Or she posted something like against like the salon owner, owner, owners like either canceling or rescheduling her appointment because she was so late. What, she was, how late was she? I forget. I don't know the details of it, but I, I did write something about that. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, but that also goes to show, like, if you know it's a celebrity, you kind of have to accommodate, but it also shows, like, entitlement, though, too. It does. And she seems like a really nice person, though, too. I, I like, she seems so me. sweet. You yeah. wouldn't think she would be, like, that vicious. Right. Remember, you guys leave a little bit of space at the cuticle area so that way we can blend her out. Look at that. Beautiful. Press down firmly. Hallie went on Snapchat to talk about the case. But she was talking crap, right? Cindy Chris? Like, not in a good way. I, I think it was like a bad situation, not not a good thing. Ooh. Yeah. See, even celebrities get messy sometimes. And nice celebrities, too, because she seems like a very, like, sweet girl. Is she really pregnant? I don't know. I didn't hear that. I don't know. Who was the baby daddy? I didn't know she was seeing anybody. Eric played in Anaconda. Hallie boyfriend decided to post to harass the salon after Hallie just stated what happened on Snap. Oh my Her gosh. boyfriend went on Twitter and told everyone to leave a one-star review on Yelp. <gasps> That's so mean. That's really petty. That's mean. But like, if it would have been Hallie Beatty, I would have been like, it's the Little Mermaid. Right. That's okay. Kendra, can you come back tomorrow? I gotta do the Little Mermaid's nails. <laughs> oh my gosh. What if you didn't? What if you had no clue, clue who she was though? Then I 
then you know the luck of the draw yeah yeah i'm like when you're in a nail salon too like i honestly i i take appointments too and it's it's a ski ball effect like you're you're behind all day oops, oops. my goodness can you show her nails up close to see how much room to leave in the cuticles so yeah of course in? Cindy Chris says the lady is pregnant and people texted her and called her with death threats. Oh my gosh, the nail salon lady? And Let's Max, check the inside. What is the name of that glitter, please? It is called Leo. Now I'm gonna scoop out any excess on the inside. Call me, girl. I'll hook you up your nails up. Oh my gosh. I got more than enough time. Cindy Chris says she was 35 minutes late. That's oh, that's really late. late. Yeah. That's like, why even show up, girl? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. I know you're the little eye still would have taken her. It's the little mermaid. It was her sister though. Oh, mermaid, it was her sister? The little mermaid was on time. Her sister was late. Max, how long will the scoops be on your on your site? Until they're completely sold out, my love. But see, in my mind, mm -hmm. I would have been like, so if I do the little mermaid sister, then I came to do the little mermaid. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. I mean. But 35 minutes is a really long time. That is a long time. She should have been more considerate. She should have said, you know what? Can I just come back later? Or can I just get something like for the time allowed? Yeah. Like just give me like a give me a quick little white tip. Exactly. Better than nothing. Yeah. So. Um, do you want to deal with Hallie's boyfriend bashing your business? No, thank you. No <laughs> bros. Not today. Nope. Sammy says, is it still free shipping? I had to pay shipping. It's free shipping on orders over a hundred in the US after discount and international is 200 USD. Yeah, okay. Vale, y ahí tengo el, el mismo lugar para el pago, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna make sure we see all those little nooks and crannies. I'm using Wonder Gel so that we get that really beautiful high gloss resistant finish. But I mean, he shouldn't have done that though. But I mean, look at, I mean, people complain about everything or they get any chance they can to like yeah. try to take you down, but. It's always like that, but it's like one person or one thing like that can really, really damage a business. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Especially somebody with that kind of platform though too. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, like that's kind of abusive of, of your platform. Abuse of power. Yeah, it is. Nikki Khan says they are really pretty. Aren't they adorbs? They are so pretty. I got the lavender dream in my scoop, but I was wondering, is this just glitters or is it acrylic? Huh? I got the lavender dream in my scoop, but I was wondering, is this just glitters or is it acrylic? This demo? Are you just tuning in, my love? No. Bunny Lynn says, I got the lavender dream in my scoop. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering, is this just glitter or is it acrylic? What is lavender dream? I think it's just a glitter. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what she's asking. I thought this this demo, if it was oh. an acrylic demo or something. Oh. These wheels feel weird. Yeah, I, I feel like that one looks like a little unstable. Yeah, it needs the, the ball definitely is too soft. It needs oh, to be if, firmer. Are the wheels locked now? No. Maybe at the wheel. But like when I move around, like. Uh huh. But the other one was huge. Did you see how big it was? It was, it was huge. Was that long enough? How long was it? I don't know. Let's do an additional 30 seconds. Better safe than sorry. Okay. okay, we did answer for Bunny Lynn. That was the right question. We got it. So she's good. Bunny Lynn is good. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. The nails look magical. They are magical. I love this glitter because it's so big and chunky. And you can definitely, definitely, definitely like use this as an encapsulated. You can use it as like on your natural nail. It's so um, versatile. Mm -hmm. And vibrant. And delicious. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna file. So when you're filing a shape like this, it is very geometric, so you want to make sure the lines are very, very straight. It looks like jewels. It does. It looks so good in person. It's really, like, funky. I love it. And every nail is different, which is, like, so cool. It's just, like, an easy, fast way to give you variety. Yes. 
I love it. I love that the shape is so different. Because it's like square and pointy at the yeah. same time. And it's like one shape, like, like, and then you turn it to the side and it's another shape. And it's got all the curves too, so if you girls like a big, high, dramatic apex, this shape has your back. I love that. Yeah, I think I might do this when she goes to Thailand. When is she going though? It's pretty for Christmas. Um, she's leaving... At the end of the month? Uh, yeah, because I think I do her like the 20-something. Oh, so she's still got time. Yeah. yeah. I tried my 1-2-3 nails and flop. It was my first time, so now I get to try Happy Gel. Awesome. But don't give up, especially if it's your first time. You know, Rome was not built in a day, my love. <laughs> I can imagine in person how it would be unbelievably gorgeous. It really is. And then Bunny Lynn says, you're making me want to do my nails tonight even though I have two more weeks with my set I have on. <laughs> That's the fun thing is that these nails are pretty easy to take off and like change them up all the time. That's awesome. Cindy Chris says, I can't wait to receive these nails. They... It was her idea to make them. Was it? Yeah, she was like, you should do the shape in a medium. And I was like, hmm, why not? That's so awesome. These are so pretty. So because we want those sides yeah. really crisp, do every finger, move your whole body when you want really crisp lines, you guys. Oh my gosh, if we can move the body in there. If I can chair. move without falling off this chair. <laughs> I wonder if that's why there's a back on the other one. Maybe that was like a To stability. balance it out? Yeah, like maybe it makes it more stable. But the idea is you kind of want to like for force your body to stay up so that way you work on your posture. That's true, I guess. I think. I don't know, I'm not a chiropractor. Right. But I think that's kind of like the yeah. idea. Well, I, I swear, like I can see a difference in your posture since you've changed that, like going to the chiropractor and... And it's been a few months already too, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's do this side now. Brenda Rose is new and she's asking if these are press-ons. No, they're pre-made full coverage gel nails, my love. There we go. But I think definitely when I pump this chair up, it'll be more comfortable. So we're gonna use the power top bit to blend in that cuticle. I'm going in at around 34,000 RPM. And I'm blending that cuticle for fill. Pull back the skin, because you want to be sure you get in every single nook and cranny. Oh no, I really want these, the Curve and the Black Label S Oval. Oh, those are really popular. I love those. I love that you have so many like pre-made nail designs. Like, I feel like that just makes life so much easier. And faster. So much faster. I'm like from a, you know, from a nail tech's perspective, not that I'm a nail tech, I'm a Cosmo, but... You kind of are. Well, yeah, but I feel like that would just make everything so much easier than, you know, building or sculpting out an entire nail or just like, like this is so quick for me. Like, even as, as a business professional or whatever, like, to go in and be, like, in the salon for a crazy amount of time as opposed to how long it takes to grow these. Especially, like, for example, given that you have Parkinson's, you don't want to sit there for, like, three or four hours, no, do you? you don't want to sit with my shaky ass hand for that many hours either. Especially if you're <laughs> in a yoga ball. Yeah. <laughs> you're shaking, I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm trying to stay afloat and you're, like, you're trying to stay still. But also, like, taking a break while you're doing your client's nails, I would not be okay with that. Yeah. I'd be like, girl, come on, I got things to do. Yeah. I got people to see, my ass to shake, I gotta go make some money. Right? Ain't that the truth, round face? <laughs> and that's the whole thing, too. Like, if it takes you hours and hours on one hand, as opposed to being able to put these on in, what, 20 minutes? You're done. Yeah. I mean, that's like a no-brainer for me, but... And some people are like, oh, I only want to do nail art or things like that. Girl, don't turn away that French tip. Yeah, don't turn away that solid color. Not that's enough. money. Or pedicures. I know some people are like, ew, I don't want to do feet. Yeah. Girl, that's money. That's coin. Yes. What are they calling it now? The new thing you were telling me about? Toe BBLs? Toe BBLs. Yeah, toe BBLs. So this... Do any scoops today? Back to the scoops. <laughs> Not live, but they are going. They are finishing up scoops from round one. I think by tomorrow there should no longer be any scoops from round one. And scoops from this week will probably start next week if not by the end of this week. So that way we can do some of those live. Stephen Francis says, my grandpa used to make fun of himself. They look stunning. Thank you, love. Why did he make fun of himself? I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Are we talking about Parkinson's, maybe? I don't know. 
I make fun of myself all the time though, if that's the case. I make fun of myself too. Yeah, you have to. I'm like, I have a condition. It's called Peter Pan syndrome. <laughs> Peter Pan syndrome? It really is a real thing though too. Oh, that's I don't know what it is. Oh. <laughs> It's where you want to be young forever. Oh, I want to be young. Isn't there a song like oh that? God, did you see my shiner from being wanting to be young forever? Oh my gosh, you thought you were the real houses of Salt Lake City. What happened? Oh, God. I'm like, I gave myself a vanity bruise right before the holidays. But that's because your skin is so fair. I am. And I, I honestly, I bruise all the time when I get Botox, but doing it right before the holidays and then bringing your, your boyfriend home is... is uh, questionable. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Was your mom like, Kendra, are you okay? Oh, my kids. Everybody was like, um, oh. I'm like, oh my God, you guys, it's, it's, it's a Botox bruise. Where did they inject it that you bruised there? Oh, I got something new done. I didn't even know about this one, but I got the, the jelly roll done. What's so, that? It's like the underneath of the eye. With Botox or filler? Botox. It was Botox. Yeah. And so it paralyzes the muscle under the eye? Like under, yeah. So I have like this line underneath my eye. So I, I feel like it looks great now, but I still have a black eye. Oh. Well, have you tried uh, threads? No, I'm scared to put anything in my face like that. I love threads, but they don't last. Yeah. I got them done in April, and I was supposed to get them redone in, in November, but I haven't had time to go back. Yeah, I'm so scared of that. The girl that does my face, um, she does threads also. She's been wanting me to do threads, and I'm just like, mm, like... I'm a big fan of threads, but they look good, but they don't last. Yeah. And they are they are quite painful. It sounds like popcorn when they're going in your face. Mm. Uh, no, I can't do it. Mm -mm. And it's this giant long cannula, probably as long as this. And then they have to like... Uh, yeah, I've seen it. She does it on your lips, too. Threads? Yes. To like lift it? Make them bigger. Ooh, probably from the swelling from <laughs> going in there with the can. Oh my gosh, Stephanie Francis is calling himself a vibrating fish hook. That's funny. <laughs> Do the scoops come in separate so you know how much one scoop, or if I wanted to give one to someone? No, they all come together. So if you order two or three scoops, it's based off weight. So, like, um, I don't know exactly how much it is, but it, they'll package it like in certain boxes and things like that. That's how they keep track. So now we're going to go in with a little coat of Wonder Gel because Wonder Gel is our stain resistant gel top coat. Over the entire nail surface. I've seen people doing it on YouTube doing threads on themselves because you can order them no way. Oh, yeah, you can order them on Amazon. Yeah. I thought about that too, but I was no. like, Max, don't end up on botch. Max, don't. No. No. But it's crazy though, because when you get threads, like you look gnarly for the first three days. I have pictures. Yeah. I look like the Wicked Witch of the West. Like my chin looks really pointy and my cheeks are like super yeah. swollen. And then after like a few days when it settles down, you look snatched. But then it go you can feel the drop. No, uh -uh. I'm too scared. And on me, it's more noticeable one because I'm on testosterone. So testosterone will eat up anything in the body a lot faster because yeah. your body's going to metabolize it faster. Right. And two, my skin elasticity is really crappy from um, extreme weight loss. Oh, wow. So when a doctor says, oh yeah, your skin will stretch back. No, it won't. Don't lie. <laughs> don't give any, don't give them false hopes. Going from 150, no, how much did I weigh? Oh my gosh. One, 544 was my biggest to now. Still, I don't remember you being that big. Well, you were there. I know I was, but I'm just saying like, I, uh, it just feels crazy. That, that number sounds crazy. That's a lot. It is a lot. But I've been really lucky to be able to keep it off for the most part for yeah, 10 good. years. Yeah, and you're tiny now. Thanks to the O. Because I did gain a lot of weight yeah. during, I think, the height of COVID because I was eating out a lot. Right. So that's why I try to avoid eating out. And if I do eat out, it's salads. Yeah. And the girls here already know my favorite salad place. What is your favorite salad place? Um, I like Choice Greens or I also like uh, Flower Child. Yeah, Choice Greens is really good. I've been going to salad to go a lot. I've never been there. But I'd rather get a salad from like... Walmart, they're cheaper, they're like three or four bucks. Yeah. Or my Lean Cuisines. Yes. Yeah, I love my Lean Cuisines. That's what I had for lunch today. You're saying, how do you lose? How did you lose? Smoking the rock. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. No, mm -hmm. I had gastric bypass surgery 10 years ago. Gosh, was that long ago? Yeah, it was 10 years ago, Valentine's Day. Oh, wow. Or 11 years ago now. Fixed in a bee. No, it's going on 12 years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. On Valentine's Day, too. And then one of my cousins, she's so stupid. She's like, are you skinny now? I was like, no girl, it's not magic. Uh -uh. You don't get the surgery and then you wake up skinny. Right. It doesn't work like that. Right. But I learned a lot about weight loss surgeries. There's five different kinds. Yes. There is the balloon, there is the lamp band, the sleeve, gastric bypass, and RX, a uh, journal switch. Yeah. Okay, now we can bake it now for one minute. Oh my gosh, I've looked you up on Google Max, you look great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Whoever says money can't change people, never met me. <laughs> I 
went so fast. And we did this hand faster than that yeah. one, huh? Yeah. We're gonna take our famous Pro Fantasia diamonds. Stephanie says, I had the sleeve done. Awesome, and how are you feeling? How is that going for you? Why does somebody have um, a, a, a tummy tuck? It was a guy. A tummy tuck and a BBL, and then he's like, let's go have tacos. I was like, girl, you shouldn't be having tacos after having that done. Right. Yes, especially like, true to, may God strike me if I'm dying, if I'm lying. Don't get plastic surgery until you are at your weight goal. Like, don't say, oh, I'm gonna get a tummy tuck and then work out, because that is a waste of money. Right. Because you're gonna end up getting another one. Take it from me, because I've had three. You know what's crazy? I was looking at um, uh, one of the team moms. Like, she had like the the mommy makeover. Mm -hmm. She's having kids. She's had like three more kids. Mm, it's like, girl, haven't you heard yeah. of birth control? Maybe she's Catholic. I don't know. We're gonna use Squeezy to apply some diamonds because if I would have known, I would have waited for my first tummy tuck. Right. Yeah. That's hard. I would have definitely waited until I lost more weight. But I was like, oh, I lost a hundred pounds. I want to feel good about myself. And then you get your first tummy tuck, and it's not what you expected. Yeah. Somebody said I had the sleeve 10 years ago and put it back on. Oh. Well, get another one. Yeah. Yes. I had the rock Power is up. and I had a tummy tuck. Mm -hmm. The grease makes you really sick. Yeah, I, I take um, Ally. To get on Ozempic, the girl that had um, the sleeve. That really helps. Let me see what way the big diamond is going on that one so I can do the opposite. Okay, perfect. Ozempic has really been a game changer for the uh, weight loss industry. It has for so many people. It <clears throat> really has. And not having to have surgery, like that's like a... I mean, it's not magic. You're not gonna drop like 100 pounds really quickly, but right. it really has helped. Yeah. Even my mom, she's dropped 30 pounds on it. Wow, that's awesome. It's a great tool, there you go. And then push everything towards the center. I take Ozempic and it's really helping me, so it's making Awesome, I'm glad to hear that. I'm a big fan of Ozempic. And then if you're on it for a while, um, make sure you're taking lots of fiber too to make sure you stay regular because that is one of the side effects if you've been on it for a while, is uh, you're gonna have trouble pooping. That's what happened to Lisa Marie Presley, that's how she went peace out. Yeah, I did see that. She couldn't poop, and on top of that, she was taking opioids, so. I'm still, I'm trying to get O in the NHS in you, on the NHS in UK. Wow, and Stephanie says, I'm still trying to lose more weight. I was weighing close to 800 pounds and down to 466. That's awesome, congratulations. That is really good. I'm gonna take a little bit more squeezing around the edges. I guess because it had been like 11 years since my last and I'm older now. And the older you get, the harder it is to lose weight. Yeah. I did something really bad when I was really young. I, I was 13, I was taking Xenadrin. Do you remember those diet pills? Yes. I'm a tablet. Oh my gosh, those, those are scary. And I lost a lot of weight with that, but I mean also like, you just, it just becomes a never ending cycle of like diet pills and yo-yo dieting. Yeah. Until you like actually like, you have to have the cojones to like sit down and say like, okay, I'm gonna like officially change yeah. my diet habits. And I say it's like a drug addict. You have to be really conscious 24 seven of what you put in your mouth. Yeah. Let's bake that now for one minute. Or 30 seconds because we're gonna go around the edges with squeezing. Because I remember very clearly the doctor that did my gastric bypass, he said, I can control how much you put in your mouth, but I can't control what you put in your mouth. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. That's a, that's a big statement. Mm -hmm. I can control what I, how much, but I can't control what you put in your mouth. So that really comes down to... And like when I'm on the plane or something, I'm like, do you have anything that's not carbonated? Apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato juice. Right. Now we're gonna go in with liquid gummy. This is gonna seal all those edges so that way these nails do not get tangled in all the bundles that she has to do this holiday season. Oh, she said thank you, been made fun of and still being made fun of. Oh, that makes me so sad. Well, make fun of them back, girl. Yes, for real. Like, you, you do you. Like, that's amazing what you've done and that's a huge accomplishment. If they make, if they call you fat, say, well, you know what? I can get it cut off, but you're dumb and ugly. So, good luck with that. <laughs> That's hard. Make sure we get all those edges with that needle tip. It's a very fine tip. You can get all up in there. That's right. That's what we want. We don't want any tangled entanglements like Jada Pinkett Smith. Oh my goodness, that woman. 
<laughs> There's this one meme that, oh, I swear, I had to screenshot it because I thought it was so funny, but nobody thinks it's funny. Okay. It's like Jada Pinkett Smith says that she was there when Jesus, when Moses parted the Red Sea. Oh my God. <laughs> to me, it's funny. She, that woman is a hot mess. She's got a lot of But I like how she like words up things other ways. Like Mariah Carey does the same thing too. Like when she eats, she's like, I'll have a morsel of food. A morsel of food. <laughs> no, girl, you're going to have the whole darn pizza. For real. I don't call it cheating, I call it an entanglement. Right. I'm with your son's best friend. A snippet. Well, was he cute? I have no idea. Maybe Will doesn't cut it for her. Maybe not. She's not a one-man show. She's like, I need lots of them. I need variety. Oh, God. She's a player. Oh. And she is attractive. She is. Remember the movie, Whoa, Whoa? No. When she had the bob? No. You know me, I'm kind of movie illiterate. That's a movie that made her famous. Really? Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen Woo. Woo? It, literally. W O O. Mm hmm. Mm -mm. Beautiful. So good. You guys know, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're going to wait 10 seconds to let the nails finish the polymerization process, and then we're going to hit it with cotton candy cuticle oil. So pretty. I get so many compliments on my nails, like everywhere I go. Now even more. I know. Tap, tap, Natasha. Protein shake is a good alternative. I have not had protein shakes in a long time, but I used to drink them all the time, but I, I got tired of drinking chalk. Yes. And you have to be careful too, because a lot of them have a lot of sugar too. So funny, I remember you literally explaining to me like how much sugar was in. A protein shake. Yeah. Oh, but the good ones are that have a lot of sugar though. Yeah. They're the ones that taste like Nesquik. Yeah. Look at that shape though from the side. Ooh, that cuticle is. So good. Very that. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous, love the nails. Yay! Look at that glitter too. Who says you can't encapsulate big glitter? That's so good. And there's a money shot right there. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap up our little demo for today. Unfortunately, we didn't get to the giveaway, but that's okay. We still got tomorrow. I want to thank Miss Kendra for coming out today again. And I want to thank you guys for being so supportive. Thank you so much, you guys. You keep making enocouture.com what it is today, the number one nail brand in the world. And we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.